Hello guys, it's me Tori and welcome back to my channel for another video. So, if you don't know, yesterday The Sims 4 had a really big important update, which was the skin tone update. So as you can see currently, I am playing around with the skin tone update and basically each of the skin tones is categorised into cool, neutral or warm toned and there's a lot of different skin tones, I think there's about a hundred of them, and you can also customise the undertones a little bit. So basically, you kind of have probably about 300 options, maybe. That might be, I don't know if that's going too far even. So, I thought, obviously, I wanted to get into Create a Sim and play around with it, and also we have some makeup sliders, which doesn't particularly work with custom content, I think it only works with the opacity i'm pretty sure that's the only thing that works with cc makeup but cc makeup works though so i mean that's kind of cool but this update was obviously very important and i think probably one of the most important updates that we've literally ever had in the sims 4 to be honest like forget ghosts and toddlers and swimming pools and all that stuff that people complained about not being there in the beginning of the game this is the thing that should have been there in the beginning of the game because people need to feel like they can create themselves in a game and for a game that's big on inclusivity i can't even say that word at all but you know what i mean and diversity it was lacking good skin tones so I'm really glad that we have this update in the game and I really just wanted to take advantage of that. So so obviously in true Tory Fox style, I had to make a cute couple because I enjoy creating cute couples. And this sim, I gave her some cute pastel outfits. I think they look really cute. And the other sims wearing some bright outfits, doing opposite couples rather than opposite twins. Yeah, I'm really glad that we have this update finally. And I'm glad that they worked with um game changers and content creators like x mirror mirror and ebonic sims they worked with a bunch of different black creators to properly get these skin tones right and i'm glad that they did that and i think they did a pretty good job i mean it's pretty bad that it took six years but i'm glad it's there now however i really don't think this is the end like the sims team need to do more like uh, recently with the new packs and stuff, they've been doing better at making um, more like curled hairstyles, braided hairstyles, locks and twists in their hairstyles. But the thing is, they're all locked behind paywalls because you have to pay for packs to get these hairstyles. But what about if you only had the base game? Why should you have to pay for another pack just to be able to have a hairstyle that represents you? So I definitely think that the Sims team needs to do quite a bit more really but this is a first step at least and in the sims 5 i really hope this is there from the start like this is probably like i said one of the most important updates that we've literally ever had for the sims 4 and yet it's taken six years however that being said i do like this update and i think it is good that we finally have this in the game the makeup sliders are pretty cool as well because we can change the makeup and now like some of the lipsticks in the game i literally like never would have used them like i wasn't a huge fan of the mac lipsticks but um one of the mac lipsticks um i feel weird saying lipsticks is it lipsticks or lipstick like which is the plural of lipstick i'm not even sure but one of them i changed it and i created like a really cute um brown toned lipstick and it looks like a really nice nude lip and i thought it looked really cool so, I mean, I'm glad that we have that as well, because definitely we can take makeup a little bit further and begin customising and just making it look really nice. So, I mean, I had a good fun time with that. So, this couple, they are uh, Naomi Wells and Avery. I can't remember Avery's last name, but I am just honestly obsessed with creating cute couples in The Sims. So, Naomi is a perfectionist, squeamish, and she is good. I feel like she's like the really cutesy one and I can't remember um, Avery's traits off the top of my head. I mean traits in The Sims 4, I kind of just give traits like Willy and Ninny because I don't know, traits don't really do a lot in The Sims 4 to be honest. They're just kind of there. They don't really like impact The Sims lives a lot so I don't really like give a lot of thought into traits for my Sims. And also I'm on their second outfits and like other outfits. And the thing is, when I create Sims, I spend ages, literally ages on their everyday outfit. Because obviously that's like the outfit that you see most often. 
But when I do their other outfits, I'm just like, yeah, I'll give them that. But um, with these creator sims, um, I did have a little bit of help from my sister because, um, like I said, I never know what to do for the second outfit. So she was there and she was like, no, don't like that dress. Oh, I like that dress. Yellow. Love yellow. Gotta have that. She loves yellow like me, so we loved this outfit. <laughs> so, I mean, I did have a little bit of help. She wasn't really a fan of her everyday outfit that she has there, which, I mean, I thought it was a really cute outfit. And I give her the strawberry dress in the end. I give uh, Naomi the strawberry dress because the CC creator actually created the strawberry dress in The Sims, which I thought was super cool. Yeah, my sister helped me with um, makeup and stuff because, I mean, I like wearing makeup, but I'm not very good with makeup. Like, I don't know what looks good. And she swatched that I choose like the lighter brown swatch for the hair. You'll see it in a minute. She said that I should go for where is it? That's hair swatch. She said that that looked really cool. So we kind of, it was kind of like a little team effort. And also I let my sister the other day. She hasn't finished yet, but she started building a house in The Sims 4, which kind of looks like a mess, but don't tell her I said that. And that would be a new video, so stay tuned for that, quite honestly. <laughs> I'm sorry my upload schedule has been so sparse recently, um, but I will be getting like a free week over Christmas, so I will be making some more content then, most definitely. But I think um, we're coming up to the end of the video, there's like a minute left, but I'm not really good at um, cast voiceovers, so I'm probably gonna go. Please don't forget to like and comment subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please let me know what you think of the Sims 4 skin tone update, what you would like them what you would like the sims team to do next and i will see you guys next time